In React, whenever you map over multiple elements, you have to provide a key to those elements. And the key that you provide is very, very important because if you don't provide the right key, you're actually gonna prevent React from doing all of the optimizations that it's built to do. So here what we did is we provided the index as a key. Now this is very bad because React is going to use this key prop over here to basically uniquely identify every single element in case that they change from one render to the next, right? Something gets added, gets removed, gets reordered. If the key is the same for each element, React is going to know that that element hasn't changed and won't do anything to it. But if we use the index as a key, then when we add a new item, every single element in this list will have their index shifted by one. And so they'll have a key that is different from the previous render, which means that React, instead of only adding that new element, it's going to consider all of the elements actually new and destroy them and recreate them from scratch. Obviously, this is inefficient. And so you don't want to provide the index as a key. Instead, you want to provide something that is uniquely identifiable to every single element. In our case, we already have something like this. We have the actual fruit itself, which we can provide as a key or over here. The fruit is actually unique for every single fruit, and so that can actually stay consistent across renders. Now, what's gonna happen if we, for example, say remove apple here from the list? Well, banana and orange will still have the same key over here because they haven't changed, they're just in a different position. And so React is going to know that all it needs to do is to just remove this apple here from the user interface, and that's it. It's going to leave the other ones untouched because their key hasn't changed. 